in three two one what's up guys my name is Carlos Roberto thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel this week so today what I have is something new for you guys it's Friday oh it's the weekend actually I don't know if this is going up today or tomorrow but what I want to do is just switch it up a little bit and have this podcast because I know a lot of you guys it's not necessarily a podcast let's not call it a podcast let's just call this a longer video because one um I like this format a little bit better it's a little bit more raw I feel like I could communicate better with you guys it's a little bit easier for me and I figure that if it's easier for me to get my point across to you guys then it just will be a little bit better and um yeah I feel like it'll be a little bit more of a of an actual connection between us so I know that a lot of you guys here love my hair not necessarily love my hair. Let's let's take that back. I know a lot of you guys don't like my hair, but I know a lot of you guys here do like hair. So I figure that today what I will do is just um, go ahead and talk about hair and, and do this in a for uh, do this in a podcast format where I'm just talking to you guys, um, just more raw without necessarily editing and uh, just going through a couple things about hair, uh, hair related stuff and. Um, yeah, I like hair. I have a hair product called Chapter. You guys like hair. I see that you guys like my hair videos. So I figured why not just do this on this channel. So let's go ahead and begin this topic of conversation right now. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get right into it. All right. So first off, what I want to talk to you guys about is how to not get a messed up haircut um, ever and basically how to be more on the safe side okay not ever but how to be on a safe side when you're going to visit a hairstylist a barber for the first time and i know that a lot of times it's a little bit hard to get the person you want uh consecutively and also if you do have a barber or a hairstylist it's actually really good sometimes they're a little, uh, a little bit uh busy when you need them and there's times when we get desperate we all do i definitely get desperate for a haircut sometimes and i happen to go to places uh, that don't do such a good job, but then I also figure that I don't really communicate well with them. So today I want to talk to you guys about how to actually communicate with someone uh, that isn't your barber, that's your first time barber, first time hairstylist. I like to make sure that I tell them to not take off too much length. I don't take too much length regardless. I've done this in the past where I go to a new uh, barber shop or a salon and I try to show them a photo of, let's say, a really cool fade. Uh, a very low fade with with like a, a, a one guard with like a two guard or something. no not a two guard with no guard at all just a skin fade uh, and sometimes it go too high sometimes I feel like I didn't explain it to them very well I just want everyone to be safe and it sucks when you go get a haircut and you think that it's gonna be good and you're like finally I'm on this, I'm in this chair and you look back uh, when they spin the chair around and you're like holy shit this is not what I wanted um, so. First things is what you want to do is make sure that you show them a photo of a longer hairstyle, something similar to this right here. So basically with that photo right there, you don't necessarily lose all your length. You have a little bit of, uh, of, of kind of like leeway uh, in, to play with in case something goes wrong. And so when you go to a barbershop or a hairstylist, you want to make sure that you say keep a guard on. You know, you could go short, no shorter than a one guard because you want to make sure that even if they mess up with the one guard, then you have the zero guard to kind of go to someone or actually, you know, call your barber, oh, excuse me, call your barber or call your um, hairstylist and be like, hey man, I'm having a, a truly, a, a true emergency right now and I need you to see me. So then you have that little bit of a leeway, you know, to be like, okay, cool, I have a little bit of hair, a little bit of hair left. You don't want to go with a zero. You don't want to go with a skin fade. You don't want to go with something that's very technical uh, that, you know, if you don't necessarily know their skills and you don't know what their what their fading technique is like and and basically you're not going to if you're not too sure about the outcome so you want to start off with something that's easy even like a low taper with a one guard is perfect you know uh a low taper with a two guard is perfect and you just like you know start with the low taper you want to get the shape you know you're going to get just the shape back that you want you're going to you're going to feel like you got a haircut but it's not going to lose all your hair and on top usually sometimes what i tell them is make sure that you don't cut past the occipital bone very short and i like my occipital bone very defined and that means that you're just not going to get a very high haircut a high fade a high blend so you're going to not look like a thumb essentially so you want to make sure you stay away from looking like a thumb we've all seen that meme and so it's a lot safer to make sure that you know you you kind of tell them uh that specifically because then they're not going to go very high up and or they're not going to just kind of make up a, a, a kind of like where y'all where your occipital bone begins and you're just going to look like you have a very flat head and that's the worst thing you could ever do 
So make sure you tell them that you like occipital bone, uh, very contoured or defined, or uh, you could just say leave it very bulky back there because that's what I like. If you see that they know what they're doing, then you could always just say, excuse me, can you actually just go a little bit shorter on the back? Can you just go a little bit shorter and cut a little bit of more, more weight off the occipital bone around the area? or you know do a little bit more texturing so you're basically going to be more in control of this without necessarily like showing them that you don't trust them because at the end of the day they're your barber they're your barber your hairstylist they want you to trust them the uh, third thing don't cut anything at the top make sure you tell them you're growing it out and just say i'm growing it out right now i don't necessarily want uh my uh, top to be touched right now unless like i'm saying you see that they're doing a really good job and then they could actually cut it a little bit or you could just say just just uh, just trim the the ends just a little bit maybe some weight not 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 even weight just trim the top off a little bit you know just say it like that a little bit please no no more than one inch um because you want to make sure that like i said if there's anything that happens any accidents that you are gonna be saved so that is my uh that is my, my 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 instructions on how not to get a bad haircut and uh yeah i'd say go for something that isn't too technical some like a low fade um uh low fade with with a with a guard on for sure make sure you have a little goalie there to protect you because otherwise you're going to end up uh looking bald and you know nothing's worse than a very bad like skin high fade that looks really awkward and and, and your head looks like a, like a, like an idiot so that's what I want everyone to prevent. I've been there. I've done it before in my life, and I don't want you guys to do that ever. So now let's go ahead and talk about the second thing that I want to talk about, and this is basically the second and last thing that I want to talk to you guys about is to make this video a little bit shorter. I have screen recorded right here, and these are basically 37 haircuts that I want to share with you guys that you guys could go for. And this isn't necessarily just for men with wavy hair, African-American, Latino. Every type of person in the world could get a haircut like this, and I I, I made sure to find something that um that actually has everything, and in, in, in everyone from every race could could benefit from this video. So the first one right here is the short sides with high shine, and this is basically your person who has a um, wavy curly hair. This I think his hair is actually a little bit more on the heavier curlier side, uh, actually more on the wavier side than than curly curly. But you could see that there's still a little bit of weight on the sides as well, which is very clean. Uh, this is very um, this is a modern haircut, very conservative cut, um, commercial cut, what I like to call them. Uh, nothing too crazy, but it's a very fancy, snazzy cut. Uh, just looks a lot like an elegant gentleman, and I definitely dig this cut for sure. And it's is actually and this is actually a very safe cut to get for sure. Um, so this is a good um, inspiration inspirational picture right here if you want to uh, get a haircut the second one is a textured waves this one uh, his hair is actually a little bit longer as you could tell very very clean slicked back a little bit as slick as it gets when you have curly hair this is like you're a very some you're very classic leonardo DiCaprio slick back but uh, all in all this is a very sick uh textured haircut uh textured waves then right here you have the medium length afro this is super sick if you have very curly hair um yeah it's kind of like the bruno mars look clean uh this dude definitely is rocking that look uh short sides with curly top i love this haircut i love this hairstyle uh definitely very easy to do especially uh if you do have more of wavy curly hair i think that uh this is a very easy way to uh just look uh very effortless and uh actually look very very sophisticated clean clean cut with uh but still very effortless and minimal work because you have very short hair and basically your curls and your waves are just going to do the talking for you and you don't have to really do much except tussle them in the morning with with a product like uh like uh, chapter styling cream the medium length waves this is a very cool haircut as well i think that um if you want to let your hair grow longer especially for curly hair there's like a, a very sweet spot um that you could still get some some cool classic uh almost looking like you have short hair but not and this is one of them where it, this guy's hair is actually like kind of longer it's a more in between stage but he fixes it like it's a little bit shorter tucking like you know slicks it behind the ear and and, and just lets it ride and i think that's a a very sick haircut uh messy curl with fringe this one's awesome as well this is for more more of a curlier hairstyle i think this is better if you have more of a uh 
this guy has more of like a squared uh, face shape. Uh, I don't know if I could pull this off. I think that this is very, uh, it's a very sick cut though for sure. And I, I know that there's people out there that could definitely rock this over the ears. Very shaggy look. Um, but still the curls are, are, are looking very healthy. Textured hair with angular fringe. This is probably my favorite one as well. This is what uh, Johnny Depp had. This is a sick cut. I feel like I kind of want this right now to be honest with you. And maybe I'll just let my sides grow a little bit longer. Uh, I like how the, the sideburn is trimmed very short, very neat. And it's left a little bit messy on the sides, a little bit longer. Uh, still very clean. It's all like diagonally cut. So the hair is falling down to the side very clean. Uh, it seems like it's a little bit disconnected on the sides as well. And basically his curls are just kind of taking over. But very sick haircut. Very sick, sick, sick look. Uh, the flat top, the flat top's clean, self-explanatory if you have thicker hair. Uh, I know some, I have some friends who have very thicker hair. Even my friend, even my brother has like uh, wavy but thicker hair and he could definitely pull this kind of flat top look off. Short on the sides, clean, elongates the face, uh, you know, gives you more of that uh, structure. Curly quiff, boom, nice curly quiff. If you have curls, I definitely will recommend this hairstyle. It seems very easy as well. Uh, I like that he has the sides are a little bit longer, but it's not necessarily messy because when you are taking care of your curls and you know what kind of product to use and uh, the curls kind of like come together and, 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 and they kind of stick together, especially if you cut them a little bit shorter, if you have a little bit, uh, maybe like a one inch curl or something like that or curl up and um, it'll just look a lot, it'll look full, but it's nice and, and, and you don't have to do much. This is kind of like a very natural curly hair, uh, haircut hairstyle. Uh, blend it into the beard. If you have that beard, go for it. I don't, and I'm jealous. Uh, medium length, messy, curly hair. This was dope as well. Like I feel like I could potentially do this, um, but I don't think I have the face shape for it. I, like if you see this guy's face shape, it's a little bit on the oval side, um, so it's a little bit on the slimmer side. And I think that's why it looks good because it, it kind of like creates a uh, an angle to his overall face shape. And um, I think that his curls are, are actually pretty sick. And if you have hair like this, then go for it and do it. Uh, especially if it's on a lighter color like this because then the curls kind of are more vibrant. If you have black hair, then, you know, it just kind of like just looks like darker hair. But if you have more of like the highlighted, uh, almost like on the blonde side, then you have more of like a highlighted hairstyle. Um, hair type then that looks really sick undercut with curly hair that's a clean one that's easy that's a go-to right there when you don't necessarily want to try anything new i think if you want to just have a uh uh just a modern haircut a modern hairstyle with a little bit of an edgy look to it with the messy top i think that that's easy you could definitely get that haircut anywhere you could even do it yourself um so definitely i've been seeing this haircut uh, the undercut's been popular for 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 years now uh, the afro, this is dope. Shout out to anyone who could do afros, man. Like I, I want an afro myself. That'd be sick. And um, I know my dad had an afro when he was younger, and his hair is like very, very like kinky almost. And um, I kind of wish I had more of his hair type because then it would be easier to manage. Uh, medium length curly hair with uh, center part. This is clean right here. You see a lot of this com coming in as well. Uh, the side parts. I know the homie Jake Daniels rocking one. Uh, his side parts looking very clean. Also, um, yeah, I just feel like this is a lot of the skater kind of uh, thrasher. Um, you know, almost more of the people who are into like the hype beast movement. You see a lot of the side parts. Uh, easy hairstyle. No maintenance required. Really uh, just the sides. And you have to really, I think, you just have to know. Uh, who could cut that type of a uh, hairstyle because it's almost like a mushroom cut but it's but it's actually very clean uh right here wavy quiff with short sides i was actually posting this one on the blue mom community page you guys like this one the most this was a very easy haircut to go to um the sides are, are short very clean very tapered uh the top isn't disconnected i think it's all blended actually it might be a little bit disconnected uh yeah, this hair this haircut is hella clean. I, I like the length on top. It's it's a medium length on top, uh, but I like how short the sides are and and it's a very clean look. Um, so I totally dig that one. Uh, longer curly hair. I don't know if I could um, rock this curly longer hair. You have to have a very long hair. I've had my hair up to my shoulders and it did not look like this. It was a lot more uh, more bulkier. Um, but if you're letting your hair grow, out, I think this is a very clean uh, clean look. If you ask me. 
uh, curly hair with fringe. Boom. Here's for the people who have really curly hair and don't know what to do with it. I think that, um, yeah, this is just a shaggy look. Let it down. Let it rock naturally. I think that's the good thing about having curly hair. You don't have to do much. Uh, unless it's it, it gets to a certain point where it just does its own thing, uh, and all you have to do is very is shape it and maintain it, and you're basically good to go with very easy products. Keep it hydrated because obviously the curls need more moisture, so uh, you don't even necessarily need to use any sticky products or anything. So it, it's a lot more of a of a natural process. Uh, short and tight afro. This is clean right here uh, for anyone who has curly uh, like you know African American hair. This is dope. Um, definitely dig it. I remember I used to get lined up myself. Maybe I should go back to that. I used to get a short seizure cut. Um, and I see a lot of people doing that still. They get lined up. And, and I think that uh, I think maybe on the sides is kind of cool, depending on, on, on what kind of hair type you have and also what your hairline looks like. I think sometimes, like, for sure, I think I would need a, a little lineup if I, if I cut my hair bald because then I think I would just kind of look messy. Uh, textured hair with curly fringe. Boom. Little short sides if you could see the trends aren't really going with the very tight sides they're not like almost bald there's a lot of uh it just kind of looks like a like a classier cut i think the more of it's it, less of the um less of the skin phase are happening but more of like the uh like like almost like the model type haircuts hairstyles are, are happening and, and and not losing your length so i think that that's a it, it just looks more elegant and i think that um yeah i think if you could just even dress it better you know like you could do more stuff it's more versatile and we have the wavy afro self-explanatory just let that rock let it loose uh that's actually sick as hair type dude I'm, I'm jealous of this one uh the crop curly hair this is for people who have very very curly hair as well but don't want to really manage any curls in their face or anything this is a good haircut i like the little taper that that he's going on that he has on the sides all blended together clean effortless cropped hair with curly fringe i rock this all the time i feel like i have this when i don't have my hair up um this dude is looking beast i like the longer sides um his sideburns are longer going over his ears a little bit um clean tight afro with clippered sides this is basically what the curly uh cropped curly hair is just for if you have african-american hair this is dope very clean uh yeah dude's beast and long curly hair that's dope as well if you could pull that off if you could have that that's super clean i feel like i would definitely rock an afro if i had it um especially with curls like that like if my my hair was that curly that'd be so sick uh afro with relaxed twist that's cool i like that as well i wish i could rock something like that i feel like my friend sanjay he has hair like uh hair like this he has little twisties and um yeah he just looks beast i don't know just like he just pulls it off Afro with fringe, boom, longer locks. This is uh the um what's that rock star's name? I forgot his name. The dude who had uh longer longer hair like this. Uh short hair with extra curly fringe. Boom. As you can see the sides are, you know, like I'm uh, as I'm repeating myself, but the sides are, are still shorter, uh, but not super tight. So I definitely think you guys should definitely see how you can do that with your hair. Uh curly flat top quiff. This is dope, volumized. We don't necessarily need any like volume enhancers when 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 we have th on the thicker hair because it kind of creates that natural texture and and bounce because of all the curls and waves that are kind of holding each other up. So definitely good suggestion. Uh, let's see. This is a short top, uh, short flat top, clean. I kind of like this as well. Um, yeah, I, I like the short. I like the short. I like the the, the like the short. Or the medium hair length. So I, I'm digging those for sure. I, I don't know if I could rock a two, like a long, long, long top anymore. Uh, like I had last time with those, when there was like nine inches on top. Because there was just a lot of hair and you can't really do much. Oh, like this short textured hair right here. This next one, that one's super clean. I like that. It's just easy. It seems so easy and it seems like you can still do stuff. You go to the gym, you could jump, you could sweat. And you won't have to wear a headband. It's like, and it still looks classy and this looks... Uh, very modern, very modern gentleman, dude. And it, and it goes actually with a lot of hair types as well. And a lot of face shapes is what I'm trying to say. Afro with twist, boom, same thing. Looking beast. And medium length wavy hair. I like that hairstyle as well. A little bit too much hair for me. But if you are in the process of growing your hair out, then maybe consider that one. Uh, curly with uh, crop fringe. A lot of hair, a little bit more controllable because it's not going to cover the eyes. So as you can see, the hair... 
uh, is cropped at the forehead, uh, midway through the forehead, and he's basically safe from being blind when he's uh, sweating and jumping up and down at the gym. Um, so definitely dig that. There's a purpose to curly hair. I know everything looks the same, but if you take a look, close look at the photos, you can tell that there's definitely things that, that make the haircut significantly different, uh, and this all depends on what you're trying to go for. Uh, the curly with the side part, that's dope right here. This is clean. Uh, I think if you have a beard like that, with a beard, if you could grow a beard with this hair length, and I think it's it's super ideal. Um, that's how long my hair was almost. Um, well, I've had my hair that length because I grew it out to my shoulders, and, and it looks sort of like that, which makes me want to grow it out. But I don't have a beard. I feel like that's messing me up. Uh, long, wavy hair, that's clean right there. That's like the Jared Leto hairstyle. That's dope. That looks very, like... That's rugged, dude. That's that's dope. That's tucked over the ear, one out. That's sick. 90s curly hair partying. Boom. This one is, uh, you know, a little hair partying. 90s, 90s uh, a little bit shorter on the sides. It's not necessarily like the other one that I showed you, the first one that was side parted. This is uh, this is almost like the Boy Meets World haircut. I've seen a lot of this stuff happening as well. Um, the Boy, Boy Meets World hairstyle is coming back for sure. Uh, yeah, this is clean. So I, I'd say just feel free to experiment. I, I know that I, I was uh, combing my hair to the side a little bit. And um, yeah, it looked pretty sick. It just uh, the volume to me, my hair parts either like in two directions. And, and if I split it down the middle, then I get like both of my curls kind of uh, enhance the side that I'm the, 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 the parts. So I could get away with like natural volume. Uh, the messy fringe with short sides clean right here. Clean fringe, short fringe. Uh, definitely a lot of texture going on on top. Uh, a little bit less on the heavier side. It's, this hair is de his hair has definitely been uh, thinned out a little bit, and you could tell. Uh, and the sides are still kept very clean and uh, either slicked to the side or they're just a lot shorter. Um, and this is basically the same interpretation, but with the short curly hair. Um, super easy as well. You could see that the the his haircut is actually um. It's actually cut. What is that word? It starts with a C. Um, but yeah, his hair, you could tell that the sides are cut a little bit and uh, shaped very well, trimmed very well, and, 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 and kind of have a purpose. So those are the uh, 37 hairstyles that I want to share with you guys for your uh, inspiration. Uh, I know there's not much to say about them. I know that for hairstyles, haircuts, it's, it's, it's easier just to kind of look at a, uh, a photo and then share it with your barber and hairstylist. And that's the reason why I wanted to tie these photos in with the first topic that I talked to you guys about, what, which was about um, how to get a hair, how not to get a messed up haircut because these hair lengths that I'm telling you aren't necessarily very short ones. So you guys have 37 pictures to look at, to share with your barber and tell them that's what something that you want and make sure, like I said, it's when you explain the back to them that you don't want too much length cut off the back and that you, you should be safe a hundred percent. So there you guys have it. I hope you guys like these, this video, this style of video. Let me know down below. Um, this is not here to stay. This is more just, um, you know, it allows me to show you guys more photos, like 37 of them. Um, and, and, and yeah, my, I'm investing my time and you guys are investing your time watching and you guys get more out of it. So let me know what you guys think about this, this format of video, even if it's once a month um, and curated, you know, the same amount of photos that I have today and uh, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section and also which one was your favorite haircut and which one are you rocking now and also maybe let me know if you want me to get a particular haircut that you saw or test it out and um, yeah we could um, we could have fun on this channel don't forget to look at my other hair stuff hair stuff that I've, I've been uploading uh, two new videos uh, last week and uh, this one this weekend so I hope you guys have a great weekend I hope I see you guys next week make sure you hit that subscribe button that notification bell button so that you guys no get notified when I upload a video and I will see you guys very soon I'm at the by Carlos Roberto on Instagram if anyone's interested and I uh, potentially see you there so thank you guys for stopping by my YouTube channel and uh, don't forget to push down on everything thumbs up please let me know if you don't leave a comment just leave a thumbs up thanks guys peace don't forget to push down everything